got a beautiful sunrise, but finally saw a deer during legal shooting hours. Yeah. But uh, they're cut the cornfield to our west. We're on a big funnel ridge. Yeah, I don't know. We should see a lot of deer movement. There are a lot of deer in here last night. We just moved to the opposite right side. Because that's the leeward side today, so. But and I are at the same location for the evening sit. There's a pile of does in here and there's a lot of chasing going on last night, so why leave deer to, to find more deer? It's just a matter of the right one. We've seen bucks. Just uh, need the right one to show up. Poor shot, but it is what it is. I just thought another bu nice buck work through. Not feeling too happy, but might have caught liver. I don't think it was far enough back to hit guts. A little high, but it wasn't like spine or anything. Um, arrows stuck in them halfway in halfway out but yeah maybe we'll get a dog or something like that um, I'm not gonna push him or anything like that hey okay. put myself in position didn't execute but it is what it is we gotta find this find this deer here well guys me and Eric split up this morning because no, but we're coming to decide that I just got a curse.
lo and behold, yet again, Mr. Eric Ives has to go and sweep up my hunt. He had to go and hit one. He says it's a little back, but he says it's a little, not super far back. So I run away and then went into a bedding area, so I got high hopes. You know, he's beating himself up, but... But yet again, the curse. He goes and hunts by himself because he doesn't want to be with me. And he sticks one. I went to tail that all day today. Stays fresh. So hopefully we find it today. And then we'll probably hunt tomorrow. I'll hunt. But then we'll probably be headed back to my house on Sunday. Cut my rotation short so we can cut up a deer for Eric, like I always do. This Mark called call me the Bud the Butcher. I like it. Bud the Butcher. That'll be my, my role in camp. <sighs> always the bridesmaid, never the bride. All right, guys. Hopefully, this uh, story continues for us. Eric, you want to fill in people? Where did we leave off? That's a better um, question. We didn't even talk about the dog yet. Yes. The last update was before, while we were waiting for the dog to show up. That yes. was our last update. So we got a dog last night. First year tractor, first year dog tracking. They, finally, after 100 yards, we found blood. Yeah. And we advanced a trail 100 yards and we lost blood. And the dog, like Eric was saying, it's a young pup. It was kind of just not, it wasn't getting dialed in. So after a few hours, we ended up backing out. I saw Zeb and Beard and Bud and myself headed out. We uh, tracked the deer. How much longer did we add on the on the trail? Uh, well, we found where the deer got off the trail and we advanced for about another, I say a hundred yards of blood, lost blood again. So we advanced down towards the creek and I don't even know if I think we're probably around 200 yards or so after last blood, and I found more blood. I ended up finding more blood, ended up getting back on the trail. Oh, we, I think we also got permission on one property. One property, that was, that was a property we ended up finding the blood on. And we advanced it all the way, I think it was about another 75 yards. And we ended up hitting a fence to another property. And that one we did not have access to. We still don't have access to it, but it's where three properties meet together. So we went and got property or permission to the property to the south of that, and he let us on. So we're gonna kind of just, hopefully that it ran all the way through the property that we didn't have access to, and we're gonna go find it laying in the creek down here. That's our uh, main hope. Sorry for the long rant, the last portion of the video. Um, I didn't do the best job uh, given the full story on the attempted recovery. Unfortunately, we were not able to recover that deer. Um, it's just poor execution on the shot. Um, that's the third deer in the last six years. I've screwed up a shot 15 yards or less where I haven't been able to recover the deer. I got to get that part of my game figured out. Short shots have been just a nightmare for me. Um, however, there are some positives to come out of this video. I want to say thanks to Bud, Beard, and Zeb for helping me try and find that deer, along with the tracker and her tracking dog. And I guess uh, one positive is we had two uh, landowners let me on their properties and uh, let me try and search for the deer. Um, we just need more hunters like that in the hunting community. Uh, more people working together um, instead of, you know, not letting somebody on your land, even though, you know, a deer they shot went in your land. So big shout out to those two landowners who let me on their property. That's all I got for uh, this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.